With Rishi Sunak set to give his first conference speech as Prime Minister tomorrow, the winners and losers are already clear at the party gathering in Manchester. With three days in the books at the Conservative Party conference in Manchester, all that is left now is the leader's speech from Rishi Sunak. But with much of the chatter being about future leaders after an election defeat many expect in 2024, it is clear there are already winners and losers from the Manchester Central Conference Hall. It has been a good week for the right of the party who have had a fight back after last year's debacle before Liz Truss was ousted. And the conference has not had any spectacular fails like Liz Truss being forced to ditch her 45p higher rate income tax cut. But with all to play for in the future, this is whose stock is up and whose stock is down. Dame Pretty Patel has been the most popular face at conference this week and the thorn in the side of the current party leadership. An ally of Boris Johnson, Shush has been the favourite for activists at events throughout the party gathering. The champion of the grassroots gave a barnstorming speech at the Conservative Democratic Organisation, CDO, gala dinner on Sunday night, so good that those present described it as a leadership pitch. Numerous more followed as she led the rebellion against tax rises, spoke at the growth rally, the rally for the manifesto and for free speech. By the time she gave her last speech today in the Friends Meeting House opposite the main venue, activists were calling for her to be leader. If Dame Pretty, who called for unity and members to back Rishi Sunak, wanted to get herself in the leadership stakes then she has more than succeeded. Perhaps though the highlight was her dancing with Nigel Farage, a partnership which could see some interesting developments in the months to come.